The Capo Valley Cougars look to stay perfect in Seaview League play. A wild match in the pool and a dominating performance in girls soccer. It's all next on South County Sports Zone. Hi everyone, welcome to South County Sports Zone inside the MVTV studio. I'm Gordon Spencer. The Capo Valley Cougars boys basketball team is ranked number five in Orange County, and they continue to dominate in a very challenging Seaview League. 12 league wins in a row for Capo Valley, 3-0 now on the season, visiting a very good 2-2 San Juan Hills team. First quarter, San Juan Hills down by three. Will Kurtzer. Yeah, it's a three. That ties the game at seven. It was tight early in the first half in this one. Capo goes up by five. Daniel Ramsey way out there on the wing, puts it up, and splashes it in 13-8. Capo. San Juan Hills comes back to tie it at the end of the first. Tomas Soto, the jumper, 13-all after one. Second quarter, Capo with three straight threes. Daniel Ramsey. Was hot from there all night. 22-13, Capo. Here come the Stallions. Alex Ruiz. Contact and foul. He goes down. San Juan Hills down 22-18. Then the steal by Ruiz right there. And the two. San Juan Hills down by two. Tomas Soto puts San Juan Hills on top with a three. Splash it in. 28-26, San Juan Hills. But Capo has Nick Lipovich, and he can hit from way outside. Capo leads at the half, 31-30. The band rocking the corral at San Juan Hills. Third quarter, full of fouls and technical fouls. Soto, the three. It's a safe place to shoot. That's way out. San Juan Hills up 38-37. After the, that, Capo goes on a 13-2 run. Lipovich, the teardrop two, 50-42. Capo after three fourth quarter dominated the fourth they scored 29 did capo valley nick draper nice pass to angle ramsey the three capo wins it big i have some concerns but i i'm real happy that i've got some shooters and some guys that are willing to move the ball and lip shot it real well too lipovich so i don't know what they were from the threes but i think the two of them had at least five or six threes each and the way they the way they gave us that shot you're gonna to have to make those on a given night, but we gotta defend better. And um, kudos to San Juan Hills. They uh, they they uh, took away a lot of the things that we wanted to do. Well, Brian Mulligan, actually Lipovich and Ramsey both had seven threes each. Lipovich with the 29, Ramsey 27, 79-56. Capo, a dominating win over San Juan Hills. South Coast League girls water polo, the Laguna Hills Hawks, 0-3, visiting the Elisa Niguel Wolverines at 1-2. First period, Yasmin Heckbat up the side for Elisa Niguel. She stops and hits top corner. 1-0 Wolverines. Laguna Hills keeps it 1-0. Maddie Evans deflecting it away in goal for Laguna Hills. Laguna Hills ties it up. Alex Burnwell from Megan Hamilton. She stays with it. Hamilton knocks it in. 1-1 one, one the score. Laguna Hills takes the lead at the end of one. The shot from way out. It's 2-1 to one. Laguna Hills. Second period, a quiet first half. And Elisa Nogel looking to tie to Olivia Chalvers, but no, that's not a goal. 2-1. Laguna Hills at the half. Elisa Miguel, Coach Eric Lynch trying to get some offense, and he found it. Third period, an offensive explosion by Elisa Miguel. Heather Feng off a nice cross pass to tie it at two. Then it's Heckmat, senior captain from Alex Burnwell. 3-2, Elisa Miguel taking their first lead since the first. And then Elena Kachuk in close. Hard to stop that. 4-2, Elisa Miguel. Then watch the patience, Alex Burnell. Waiting, waiting, and fires. Far corner, 
five to Elisa Nagel. Meanwhile, Elisa Nagel goalie, Caitlin Amato, stingy. Not allowing a goal in the third. A 6-0 run for Aliso Nagel. Aletha Collins. That's a rip shot. 7-2. Aliso Nagel. Fourth period. Aliso Nagel not done. Heck, Matt. Uh, another in close shot and goal. 8-2. Aliso Nagel. Finally, Laguna Hills gets back on the board. Megan Hamilton swims in. Looks. And just kind of floats it in there. Easy in front. But... Hard to stop Aletha Collins. That shot, a 9-3 Elisa Nagel. And they have a huge third and win it 9-4. Um, our coach gave us a really good speech to just like keep your heads up and like keep going and stuff. So we just had a good comeback. The first quarter we just got too ahead of ourselves, I believe, because we know that they lost their best players last year because they all graduated. So we just got too ahead of ourselves and started thinking too much, and then we just came back. Elisa Nagel improves to two and two behind Aletha Collins' three goals with that nine to four win. What a third period that 6-0 goal outburst by Aliso was the difference. We're gonna step aside, take a break when we come back to the pitch for some girls and boys soccer. The greatest thrills and excitement are awaiting you right in your own backyard. The CIF Southern Section and your SoCal Ford dealers encourage you to go to a game at your local high school. Unbelievable action is right in your community. You'll be amazed at what you've been missing. Supporting your local school has never been more fun. Go to a game this week. Welcome back to South County Sports Zone. The Aliso Nagel girls soccer team has just one league loss in three seasons. That coming this season to San Clemente. They are ranked number eight in Division One going into the final couple weeks of the regular season. Aliso Nagel, led by Randy Dodge, hosting the Tesoro Titans, led by George Deverick. They played each other four days earlier to a 0-0 tie. Different in this game. First half, first minute, junior forward Maddie Crockett gets out front of a nice pass and scores. 1-0, Elisa Nagel. Then 10 minutes in, Elisa with a chance. Jillian DeGidio takes down Sydney Gibson in the box. That will result in a penalty kick. Elisa Nagel's Kelly Sugahara takes that penalty shot and goes short side to score. 2-0, Elisa Nagel. Then Tesoro with the chance to cut the lead in half. Kate Brumley off the crossbar. Then watch the toe save by Aliso keeper Maddie Hogue. Keeps it two to nothing. Then six minutes left in the half. Look at the run by sophomore Sarah Matosian up for the far side. Watch the perfect feed to Therese Reyes. One timer into the top of the net. Three to nothing. Aliso Nagel. Halftime at Aliso, Randy Dodge. After that zero goal effort, three so far in this match. Second half, corner by Nicole Friedman, sophomore midfielder, and Audrey McKean uses her head. 4 0 Aliso. Tesoro with chances. Kate Brumley, Jordan Scales. Oh, the crash into Jasmine Chadot. The save is made. And then again, Tesoro. Chelsea Vieira in front. Chadot makes the save. Aliso wins it by a final score of four to nothing. They improved to three, one, and one in league. Seaview League boys, soccer, Capo 2-0-0, oh, oh, visiting Tesoro 2-0-0, oh, and oh, the top two teams in the league. First half, Kieran Towles, Jake Volman score one nothing Tesoro. Then it's Dylan Marone, a great pass to himself. Gets it to fly into the net, Capo ties it at one. And again, more number 21, look at this shot. Just rockets it in, looked like it had a little bend to it. Capo leads it two to one at the half. Tesoro, trying to figure out how to stop number 21, Don Scaff. 
Longtime coach at DeSoro, second half. Look at Josh Pukowski. Somehow shakes off two defenders, gets the shot past the keeper. 3-1, Capo Valley. Then Tesoro looking to get one back. Diego Hernandez makes his way through the defense. Knocked over the keeper. The scramble in front. No good. Can't get the shot off. Then Tesoro again on the attack. Hernandez, nice cross to Bowman. Shot and save. Christian Aguilar keeps it. 3-1, Capo. Capo adds another just because. And guess who? Dylan Marone, the hat trick. He's holding up three. Cougars go on to win this one by a final score of 4-2. to two. Capo improves to 3-0-0 on Maroney's three goals. Capo now 4-0 sitting in first place. Capo Valley looking very strong again this season. They have made seven straight postseason appearances. That's going to do it for us here at South County Sports Zone. Don't forget MissionViejoLife.org and CityOfAlisoViejo.com for all of the episodes. Thanks for watching. I'm Gordon Spencer.